TitleMatchNetwork.com. How important were the Road Warriors in the battles as WWF expanded? Well, you know, they, they were kind of, uh, they came after the battles got going, really. You know, they, they weren't in the, the prime time for us anyhow. Yeah. But they helped us keep going. Uh, but but uh, they were, uh, and I think Joe will tell you this, they were a little hard to work with. Everyone says that. Yeah. Back then. Back then. I right. mean, Joe now today says, you know, I didn't realize. And he said, you know, I took you and Jim for granted, but they were some of the best matches we ever had. Mm -hmm. He told me that one day. He said, and, and to this day, I, I just, you know, I apologize. Looking back, what mistakes do you think the AWA made in the battles against WWF, if any? Well, the only mistakes was, you know, but nobody knew at that time. You should have had everybody under contract, but right. nobody else did it. Right. You know, that's the way wrestling ran. So you couldn't foresee that coming. And all the other promoters around the country really didn't think Vince could do it. And I don't think he could have done it without Hogan. Talk I know he couldn't have. Talk about why your father decided to team with other companies and create Pro Wrestling USA. And why do you feel it Well, it was really all the promoters started calling. Right. You know, you know, Vince this and Vince that. Hey, we got to, we all bind together. And then so Vern said, well, okay, well, we'll be in with that. But, uh, you know, it was, it was really... The egos? Well, it was really hard because what you have to do is, like I told you when we did our booking, somebody had the fi final say. And nobody trusted each other. Yeah. It was the funny thing. I mean, it was, it was too bad. Uh, because I think it, it could have worked if you'd have just said, okay, so-and-so, you're going to run it. But which ego would have let run it? Crockett's wouldn't let you run it. They wanted to run their thing. You know, Crockett's, Jesus, we formed this deal. We got a big match in Comiskey Park, did a good house. They're in there th that night trying to sign all the AW guys to contracts, all the AWA guys to contracts. Jerry Black, come on with us. You know, I mean, you know. Yeah. You talked briefly about it. Uh, break down how the AWA TV shows was syndicated prior to cable spreading nationally. Well, every week we did our wrestling program out of Minneapolis. We taped it, and then um, then you would you would cut separate interviews for each market, and we'd have five 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 interview slots, two minute slots, for interviews to plug whether you're coming to Denver or you're the card in Omaha or Milwaukee, wherever it's going to be. So then they would put those interviews into that tape and send it to the, to the station we were working with in Denver or San Francisco, wherever. How did the ESPN deal for uh, AWA come about? And do you think the company was able to make the most of that deal with ESPN? If they'd have come early, well here, what happened to us earlier, okay? I just want to backtrack sure. a little bit. CBS came to us when Hogan was in Japan and said, we want to do uh, every once a quarter a match on CBS Network. That would have been huge. But we have to have Hogan. So that was in the mix that Hogan didn't know about because he was in Japan. That they they came to us in early December and this is they wanted to start the first one in February. I thought, well shit, that'd be great because we got Andre then. Right. We can have that match on network TV on CBS. That would have been what, eighty two? Uh eighty three. Eighty three, okay. February of eighty three. Okay. Larry Nelson wrote in his book that, that Vern didn't even have a cable at the time and never watched the show. Do you think your father had a grasp of how much technology was changing uh, the TV and wrestling landscapes? Well, he watched it. He'd come over to my house and watch it. Okay. He, he didn't have cable at home, but he had it, you know. He knew what was going on. I don't think we, any of us knew that what the impact cable would have at that time. I mean, if we all would have, we'd invested in it. <laughs> What led to AWA getting, uh, I believe it was up in New York City, WPIX, since that was really so far outside of the uh, AWA area? Were you guys looking to expand? Well, no, we, we went in there because McMahon had come into our area. Okay, so it was just and, and that was part of WGN. They put us on at w, uh, WPIX, and that, that gave us the outlet there with USA Wrestling to promote the Meadowlands. We couldn't get into the garden, but yeah. the Meadowlands. And, I remember that. And, and you know, uh, put a thorn in. Vince's side like he was putting in everybody else's.